They're at the restaurant because mm-hmm. he snapped at my husband mm-hmm. when my husband gave an opinion on like, hey, chill out. You're being weird. Why did you let her come? Right. And she pretty much snapped at him and was like, mind your business. Mm-hmm. My husband is like very respectful. So he stayed in his place. And mm-hmm. But he pulled me to the side and he said, you know what? Like, fuck this bitch. <laughs> You know, like, we're going to do What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I, I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Nelly in the building. All right, man, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it, because I, I saw the video. I saw the interview. Uh, when I saw the interview with uh with the angry man i i had my reservations um she came on she explained that it was the it was the uh puerto rico trip everybody had they everybody thought that the young man in the video was her boyfriend um but it wasn't no uh context uh for me anyway uh doing an interview with the angry man about what led up to uh, the confrontation between Sassy and the guy in the video. And when the angry man asked about it, you know, she still kind of danced around what really happened. So you came into my comment session to clarify a few things. Uh, come to find out that the young man in the video is your husband, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and give it to you. My question, what led up to the confrontation between her and your husband? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So the whole trip. Sierra was kind of like micromanaging the vacation. Now, before I say this, this is not like an anti hey Sierra kind of ordeal because at some point the bitch was my friend. So we've traveled together in the past and it's been, you know, a decent situation. In this particular trip, um, she invited a gentleman with her. I don't know if that was her dude, her booth, and whatever the fuck. We didn't know him. We met him on the trip. And um, he was a little dog. And she was, like, getting jealous and insecure. And she, you know, shit was happening, like, the whole trip. Because um, we, I mean, this was, a, like, 14-day vacation that we took and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it was, like, days. Um, so, like, through the whole trip, she was, like, kind of micromanaging the vacation. You know, she was, um, we were trying to bring girls back to the Airbnb. And she was tripping. She didn't want that. So um, everybody was kind of, like, biting their, their uh, tongue about oh, it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, I kind of, like, told her about herself a night before when we were in the jacuzzi. Like, we had an argument, and I was like, dude, nobody paid all this money to come out here and shit to be, like, weird. Like, snap the fuck out of it. You know, like, whatever you're going through with, oh, dude, that's what you're going through. So that the, the particular night where, like, the bottle was thrown at my husband or the pot was thrown at my husband, we were at a restaurant, and um, this night, that's when Marie had flown in, I think. And Marie was her dude's friend. We didn't know her. Like, she agreed to her coming, um, and she sent her money. Maxi Marie, the young lady that actually recorded the video. The and, one that took the video? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, continue. Yeah, so um, she was, like, her guy's friend. I don't know. But... When she got there, Tierra was, again, being weird. And um, she wanted me and Trucker Doll to kind of like, because we were her friends, to kind of like bully the other girl or be mean to her. You know, mean girl stuff. Mm. Um, I'm a grown-ass woman. So you're not about to influence me to be mean to anybody that isn't being rude to me. So I stay neutral. Um, When we were at the restaurant, the dude left with Marie and uh, me, Turk and doll, Sierra and my husband, we stayed behind. Sierra was talking about the situation and my husband made a comment and Sierra snapped at him. Oh my God. Oh my God. That- 
is the best coffee I've ever tasted. Wait, um, wait, 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 wait. The boyfriend, I'm just going to say the boyfriend at the time. All right, because I don't know what their status is now. But the boyfriend at the time invited Matsy Marie to come on the Puerto Rico trip with him and and her as his guests. Right? Actually, well, mine is this was like a, a friendly like traveling group. So anybody oh, okay. really that had the funds to come was invited. Oh, okay. This okay. is what we did. Like we would pick certain places and be like, okay, this is the price for this, get a fat ass Airbnb and everybody travels together. It wasn't the first time that we had traveled like my husband and I with uh Sierra. Like I've known Sierra, you know, right. so um that was that. Uh, but yeah. But, but would you the, think? But but would you think though that uh, a conversation should have been had between the boyfriend and and Sassy if he was going to well, invite another female? Sassy you would agree to it. Oh, okay. So there was a conversation about Max. Yes. The, oh, the okay. Marie girl paid Marie send the money to Sierra. Sierra was the organizer. We would give our money to her and she would pay for the shit. Okay. And we would just show up. Okay, so so what Right, so why, now you why, understand why, like why why I, she why she get weird with the girl then if if she accepted all of that. She was weird. Which oh. is why I stay neutral because in my head it's like why would you even allow her to come and right. now you want us to be mean to her. Like that's stupid ass fuck. You're being weird. I'm not tolerating that shit. You're being weird. And um, that was that. They're at the restaurant because mm-hmm. we snapped at my husband mm-hmm. when my husband gave an opinion on like, hey, chill out. You're being weird. Why did you let her come? Right. And she pretty much snapped at him and was like, mind your business. Mm-hmm. My husband is like very respectful. So he stayed in his place. And mm-hmm. But he pulled me to the side and he said, you know what? Like, fuck this bitch. <laughs> you know, like we're yeah, going to do our own thing. Yeah, this so, is the last um, time we come in here. <clears throat> pretty much and I said okay so when we received our food we left Sassy mm-hmm. stayed with Trucker Doll um, at the restaurant we left mind this Marie and the other guy had already left there was another guy at the Airbnb that was there he never came out with us so um, we get back to the Airbnb we're downstairs everybody's drinking we're eating our food we're having a good time um Sierra comes in. She saw she. Everybody's drunk. You know, we, we hadn't right. went to go get food because we were drunk. It's a fucking vacation, so we've been right. drinking the whole time we were there. Right, y'all having um, a good time. Y'all turning it up for sure. Right, for sure. So she gets back. Um, she has to do say bottle, and she drops it from the second floor. I don't think that she meant to cut me. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I think she was just drunk and belligerent. Right, um, and it just failed. the bottle shattered, the glass shattered, and it did cut me in my foot. I right. started bleeding. Okay. I was drunk. Okay. So me and her are going to fight now. I okay. had enough of her shit. She's doing too much shit. Like, right. she's being weird as fuck. Right. She's, Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. She's making the trip just awkward. Like, I'm regretting being there. And we paid a lot of money for this shit, so she's, nobody's dealing with that. She's she's so, making the um, she's she's making the trip uncomfortable for you for you guys right now. Yeah, she, it was weird because she was being jealous. She was like, um, we were trying to bring like we were trying to bring the party back. You know, I mean, we're in Puerto Rico. It's a fat ass Airbnb, like twenty three rooms, three stories. Um, we were trying to bring like girls back to the Airbnb and party and stuff, but. She saw the dude talking to one of the girls, so she pretty much told us that we couldn't bring anybody back and all this other stuff. So, you know, that's it's, it's a long <laughs> story. <laughs> but um, pretty much she drops the glass. It cuts me, me and her are going to fight. Mm-hmm. Um, my husband got in the middle of us. The two other guys got in the middle of us. You know, uh, they're like, I'm, it, when you see her screaming in the video and she's like in a striped dress, and she's like screaming and you see two guys kind of like just standing there. I was behind them. Mm-hmm. Um, she was like trying to fight, you know, and I was trying to fight too. But at the same time, it's like we're in Puerto Rico, bro. Like if the police get called, you know, we're going to go to jail. Like, right. what the fuck? Chill the fuck out. You know, you're breaking shit in the Airbnb. Like, chill out. So um, she grabs the knife. Her uncle, cousin, the third guy that was there, like pushes her into her room. And um, 
she's in the room screaming. Uh, Turkey Doll's in there with her. I don't know. By then, uh, my husband kind of like pushes me back into my room, and I'm in the room. Okay. Um, time passes by. And everybody's drinking. Now, we're it's our last night here, so we're leaving the next day back to California. We're flying out. Okay. Um, so time passes by. Everybody's drinking. And um, my husband was washing our clothes because we don't like to come back with dirty clothes. Right. There was a mess in the kitchen, and he started cleaning it up. As Sierra's come, so I heard because I was in the room. I was asleep. Okay. Um, as Sierra started coming back up, I guess she saw him in the in the kitchen. She's drunk because everybody continued to drink. Once I went to my room and everything, she chilled down. Um, I guess she poured the soda on him. So uh, Marie recorded it and she sent me the video. And um, I saw it. I put my shoes on. I come out with a vase. You know, I'm getting ready to throw it at her. And my husband kind of meets me in the hallway and he bear hugs me and he's like, "Stop." You know, we, uh, she's crazy, like she's drunk, uh, just stop, you know, um, you just talk to the kids, we told them we were going to be there tomorrow, like, don't let her weirdness fuck up what you got going on. So, chill the fuck out, you know, it is what it is. So, pretty much that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Like, I went back in the room, shit happened, the police didn't get called, Mm -hmm. um, nobody, the police didn't get called, like, nobody went to jail. She slept with a knife. She was, like, walking with a knife across the hallway, like, trying mm. to, like, touch the walls or whatever, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm trying to intimidate. Um, but truthfully, it was just some drunk shit that happened. Like, this has nothing to do with Dubai. Everybody is speculating on a video that had nothing to do with the actual shit that she's going through right now. Mm. You know, her issue right now, she owes fine. She got into a car accident out there. They're finding her. And she doesn't have the money to pay the fines, I'm guessing. So they're keeping her. That's why they took her passport. Anybody wants to help, they should start a GoFundMe so she can pay the fines so she can get the fuck out of there. Mm. Instead of, like, just trying to hurt her. She don't deserve to be out there. I still don't like this because she is weird. I did block her when I got back from um, from the trip. And so we haven't been friends since the trip. But ultimately, like, let's be fucking real, dude. She's still American. She's still one of us, you know? And she's still, like, she don't deserve to be out there, bottom line. Facts. So, um, the police didn't get called, again. Nobody talked, like, we didn't talk to the police. My husband didn't save her. Um, he saved her from an ass whooping, not from <laughs> going to jail. Like, that's it, okay. you know? Like, okay. all the other shit can, like, I don't know. It's All just right. annoying to see everybody commenting and everybody has an opinion. And this shit hit us like out of the blue because the shit just started going viral and yeah. we're kind of low key. Yeah. You know? Um, All so, right. yeah, that's pretty much like my standpoint on that. All if right. anybody wants to help her, they should start a GoFundMe and they should help her like pay the fines um, so she can come home. Because pretty much, like, that's really what it boils down to. You, she was trying to flex out there, mm-hmm. and she was driving a truck. They got into a car accident. There's fines that come with that. She did probably start screaming at the people. I don't know. I'm not her friend anymore, and I wasn't there, so I can't speak on something that I didn't see or witness, you know? Right. I'm just speculating. All but right. from what I read, that's the issue. Not the Puerto Rico trip, you know? And if people really want to help, again, go find me and maybe they can help pay her fine and we can get that bitch back. <laughs> and if not, then fuck it, you know? But don't put me in it because I don't want to be a part of it and I don't want to feel like I'm the reason or my husband is the reason why that bitch is not coming home, mm. pretty much. That's where I stand on that. And I just want everybody to, like, you know, like just kind of fall back. All right. Well, first, I want to thank you. I, I, w- I definitely want to thank you for uh, coming on to the channel and clarifying and clearing up a lot of misinformation and, and stuff like that. Uh, so I, I guess uh, your husband, 
uh, was in the kitchen, uh, you know, doing something and I, you know, and being sassy was was drunk or something like that. Put that coffee down. You know, she did what she did what she did. I'm, I'm going to have to give it up to your husband for, you know, restraint. I want to give it up to your husband for not turning up on her because most guys would have been like, they would have, they, they would have got with the rah rah stuff. Man, a regular but, guy would have dropped that bitch. Yeah. I wanted to drop that bitch, so yeah. I will give it up to him. He has a little more restraint. He had total restraint, man. Bro I was like, you know what? Let me just wipe this down right quick and just go and get my wife, and we, you know, we we just gonna make sure that this is gonna be the last time we we deal with you but let me ask you this uh nelly you you said that you you guys went on plenty of trips with this young lady prior to the puerto rico trip was she was ever like this before I, you guys was friends at one point so obviously her her character was okay i mean she didn't display that type type of 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 demeanor before or any of your other trips right um, she has an attitude problem. I mean, she's sassy, but she, I've never, no, I'd be lying if I said, like, you know, outside of, like, the Puerto Rico shit, when she, me and her actually got into it, into it, um, no, like, I mean, the bitch was at my fucking wedding, bro, like, she's not, you know, like, I've never witnessed any, like, real ratchet shit from her, to be honest. Mm. Um, so, no, not really. Wow. You know, I mean, she she does she is sassy, like, but we all have right, that right. We she all yeah, sassy. she's very we sassy. We can all be yeah. strong minded. We're fucking, you know, we're human. Ain't no perfect like person. So I mean, shit, I'm violent sometimes, you know, but that don't make me a bad person. <laughs> I have a short temper, right? Like so, but that still don't make me a fucking bad person. I'm not out here beating people up. I just. I stay to myself because I don't like drama. Now, Maxi Marie, you 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 don't know her personally. She she just showed up on, on the, the trip. on the trip, right? I met her on the trip, and to be honest, I don't have nothing against the girl. Like, um, I actually like her as a person. She's a beautiful soul. She's a very happy person. Like, she's um, you know, she's a dope ass person in 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 real life, which is why it was so difficult for me to be mean to her in the trip, even though Tierra was my friend. Okay. 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 That's what's up. So of course you, you clarify the fact that there wasn't no police call. So, you know, you, you debunked it that how did the, how did the rest of the night go for you and your husband? Did, did y'all finish staying at the Airbnb? Did y'all went out to walk? Did y'all have a talk about um, what's next? Uh, you know, no. That night we finished watching. We made our suitcases. Um, we smoked weed, so shit. We smoked as a joint, and uh, uh, we went to sleep. And uh, she went in her room. She went to sleep. Everybody else went to sleep. A lot of us had to fly out that morning, so or the next morning, so. That's what happened. You know, in the morning, we had an early flight. So my husband and I, uh, we had already made arrangements to get picked up and uh, dropped off at the airport. So we did that. Well, when we left, everybody was still in their room sleep. The people that hadn't already left before us. So I, it was, I mean, it was, it wasn't that like, so it was bad in the way like friends fight bad, but it wasn't bad. Like you're just a freaking menace to society bad if okay. that makes any sense well again uh like like you said uh about massey uh marie i mean I, like i said i i don't have every day for the last 10 years loretta there has been giving me a large black coffee today she gives me a large black coffee only it's got sugar in it. a lot of sugar i just came back to complain how you boys put those guns down I, I just had questions. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, her as a person, I wasn't I wasn't questioning. I was just pretty much questioning. But truth, be, truth is, there's, like, history between Marie and Tierra. Like, after we got back from Puerto Rico, um, according to Marie, Tierra 
posted Marie's daughter on like a triple X um, website or something like that. Pictures of her daughter um, and stuff like that. So Marie has like a personal issue with Tierra. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because um, I again, like I said, you know, when when she was explaining the fact that she was invited by the boyfriend, I I was like, you know, I was then, you know, when she was going a little bit deeper about the relationship between her and a boyfriend, she didn't have that much of a relationship between uh her and Tierra, but she did mention the fact that uh to the angry man about the pictures and everything. I I didn't think I, I didn't know if that was yeah. serious or so not. So that's where that's where that happened. Like that happened after Puerto Rico. After Puerto Rico, like me and Tierra fell off. Um we argued a little bit over like, you know, stuff, but ultimately like it resulted in like me blocking her and um like not having anything to do with her like for the last two years. You know, uh, you know what? So this like whatever happened just recently. All right. So again, back to the boyfriend part. Marie and the other guy. Yeah. It was a girl trip. I was just tripping. So she wasn't just tripping on Marie. She was like at some point she tripped on me. At some point she was tripping on Trucker Doll. She even made her cry um, in the first Airbnb uh, because of like the jealousy about the dude like she was jealous of anybody that was talking to the dude that's why she canceled the uh, party when we were trying to bring the girls back and stuff because when she came out of the bar she saw um the dude, dude and my husband talking to these two girls that they were trying to bring back to the airbnb and everybody was okay with that except her like and that's what the issue like really boiled down to i really do believe that if like she would have never invited the guy, it would have been a good trip because she would have been in the men- in the right mental space to enjoy the trip. If I'm like, you know, mm, okay. Because okay. even Marie, like Marie, had like she was dope, bro. Like she was like she let me borrow some makeup. Like it, it was it was nobody was on negative eyes. The only person that was really being weird was Sierra. Okay. So it was like, why are you being so fucking weird? But it, I mean, what? Now analyzing it as like you know an adult analyzing the situation like everything had to do with the dude. It it didn't have to do with like Marie talking to the guy. I never talked to the guy. Uh, Kadisha wasn't trying to get at the guy, but he never made it an issue in all the situations. You know what I'm saying? Because right. of the guy. So that was the issue right. in my mind. Uh, Ultimately, get her out. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. That's what it's that. That's what it should be a, a concentration on. Uh, right, of, like of everybody's focused on the wrong shit. Like, help build the GoFundMe so they can pay her fine, so they right. can help her get out. Like, not, and I send them. Not a problem. Know? Not a problem. All right, uh, Nelly, thank you uh, very, very much for coming in and uh, you know clarifying some things and and clearing the air. Um, about what went on in Puerto Rico and not Dubai. So thanks, thank you very much. Right. I really do appreciate it. Correct. Right. You're very welcome. Well, have a great day. Big G's got it locked. Won't you love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Won't you to take it like a G?